why art, besides the fact I enjoy, is yes, because it's a different way, in a way I prefer to express myself instead of through something, say, writing, which I do like to write sometimes, just not, not exactly for me. It's, not, it's also like how I'm not as comfortable around beakers in, the, in a laboratory or anything like that either. Um, and numbers were never my best friend, but um, I think translating things visually was something I particularly enjoyed. I mean, I imagine it's the same for me and everyone else. It's, it's a different way than writing something down to kind of get a message out. Um, not only do we enjoy it, but I guess being able to translate something visually isn't something everyone can do. It's funny because it was a way to get away from it, yet it influenced like, how I work so much. It's a huge escape from the pool and everything, but also it's because I was around the water so much that I kind of observed it, so like the surfaces just still feel very flat yet wavy at the same time. Like I, I was almost trying to recreate landscapes based off of water surfaces, so it was just like me kind of like trying to make the pool a more pleasant environment for myself, almost, if you think about it that way. <laughs> it's, less, it's a little less, this is probably a little bit more like mentally like painful sometimes, like the moments where I'm standing there, I'm like, oh man, where do I go next from here, versus like in the pool where it's like physically challenging and mentally challenging in a completely different manner, but um, I really like, I like switching between the two. I like having a very unstructured like process when I paint and everything, yet at the same time like having the pool there to kind of just, you know, you do your laps. It's repetitive, I get it. You, you don't particularly, it's just, it's such a whole different, it's like, it's almost like my second personality or second identity. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So I needed both. I do, I go into most of these with kind of like motives in mind. Um, but, and then it's, a lot of it's like the color that I pick at that moment dictates the rest of it. So I usually get the color down first and then after that I'm like, okay, then all the motives kind of come in and towards the end then it's, it's more so a little more open where I'm like, oh man, you know, I think aesthetically I could use a little bit of this and it'd be more pleasing to myself, but yeah. And that's how I work. Like other people, other people work, they like to work very like the step, the next step, the next step. Like, there's a whole process. I have a process too, just mine's a bit more open and how it can go. Um, I am looking into a lot of things to try to get involved. I want to continue to stay involved with arts. It's kind of hard because you, because making art takes time and it's also, it's like a job almost. You have to be like, you have to make yourself sometimes do it. Because sometimes, let me tr trust me, it's not always enjoyable. <laughs> it gets to the point sometimes. But um, yeah, so I am probably going to take a year or two off. Um, I'd like to get involved in possibly like community arts, nonprofit art, or teaching, teaching art maybe. And even if it's not teaching art specifically, I think there's a way to kind of take this creative side of thinking and implementing that into like helping, like I don't know, younger kids learn 